How's it going? This is Chad Morris, and I'm back with another video. This week, I'm going to be focusing on uh, seventh chords, the dominant chord. So naturally, that means a lot of bluesy stuff. We're going to get bluesy today. And at first, I was going to do these on the acoustic, because that's like my sound now. That's where my creative voice is right now. And Well, you got it all wrong. Muddy waters invented electricity. So I'm going to be back on the electric today. Let's look at lick number one. It's a little jazzy, and it employs uh, some chromaticism, some light arpeggiation, and I've rated it at the second most difficult out of the three, only because it has to be delivered at speed for it to make sense. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Let's look at lick two. It's a little bit more bluesy, and although I rated it as the easiest out of the three, uh, it still is kind of difficult to deliver it properly. This is because this is blues, and without any type of inflection, any type of dynamics, or any type of uh, feeling, uh, you're just playing notes. The way to put feeling into your playing is to use a combination of bends, slides, and dynamic changes. In this example, sliding into intervals is all we need to achieve a soulful effect. Finally, lick three. This is the hardest out of all three. Uh, not exactly because of the content, but this is blues. It's about how the content is delivered. That's what makes it extremely difficult. You have to inflect some kind of pain or passion or something to get this lick to sound right. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to sound like notes and, and it won't say anything. Now, you can play this lick in a variety of different ways, but the way I've tabbed it out uh, takes advantage of the fatter sound of the G string. Take note of all of the bent intervals, because that's what characterizes this piece. Let's hear how it sounds. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.